Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play More Final Fantasy IV. The FD is blind. Apparently, if it wasn't made clear enough, we're going to be re facing Rapunzel Barbie next. And what the hell is the point of these little tornadoes if we haven't figured it out already? That wall looks suspicious to me. And sure enough, it's hiding a secret passage. Ha! See, it doesn't have, like, the, the end thing on it, so... Hooray, I'm getting good at this! Thunderbird, huh? Oh, you jerks! Yeah, I need to fix my autobata settings, but apparently since this thing is almost dead anyway, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. So what is the point of these... Oh, this treasure chest on there. Of these tornadoes? Oh, you... Meaty pants. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't know what this thing's weak to. They're like, what? Like, what's this? I'm gonna guess. Eh, I'm just gonna throw one of those on you. Why the hell not? Does he's like lightning based? Maybe. Maybe. Given the, the yellow background here. What the hell knows? And we're gonna throw a quake on you because that's a fun. Th I haven't used that really that much. Okay, or maybe Flutterfly's magic just sucks. I don't know. Oh yeah, I changed my equipment around a little bit. Um, Fluttershy has more spirit now. Yeah, I noticed uh, one weird thing. The Elfin Bow actually increases your intellect, which is kind of odd. And I equip dragon stuff on some people. Yeah, another stupid thing too. And I can't believe they friggin' did this. I found out about it. Notice how it says resists all elements. I found out that's a little bull crap, and it only resists the fire, ice, and lightning that it did in the original. That is correctly stated in the the description for this, you know, the dragon stuff in the original game. Since obviously a lot of stuff is, you know, copied over, you know, considering the engine and things are the same and just it's altered or the after years kind of thing. How, how did they make this mistake? That is bad game. Very, very, very bad. So I don't get like what the purpose of these tornadoes is. I mean, we've already it's already been established who the next boss is gonna be. Alright, and Fluttershy learns our next spell. Ooh. Secret passage much? Oh, bats. Oh, how I friggin' hate you things. Yeah, what are you guys doing fun? Yeah. Um, you guys mentioned, obviously, uh, it might be valuable to give, like, her apples if I'm planning to keep her, but the only problem is, um, actually, I'm gonna think of it. Well, I'm thinking about that right now. How many do I have of the apples? Because ever Edward or Stanron, I'm sorry, I'm not getting rid of him. Let's give him one of the golden apples. Uh, Fluttershy, I'm not sure about. I'm not sure if I want to keep her or not. Ooh, dragon gloves. Alright. Probably gonna save those. I mean, I only really need one piece of dragon equipment on people, and I only have two people in my party who can actually equip them. Actually, unless, um, Edge can equip them. Maybe. I don't know. No. See, I love how, I mean, some of the, um... Like, the helmets and the armors I can understand and everything like that, but, like, why the... I know it says arms, but, I mean, I consider them to be, like, accessories. Because most people can equip pretty much everything. But it's too bad he can't put some on, because I would love to give him stuff. But, yeah, you only really need one piece of dragon equipment on people, so... Not really a point in outfitting everybody. I mean, I suppose, like, could... Um, just for the added stats and things like that. Like, you know, like the defense multipliers. And I, defense multipliers, I haven't been paying attention to. I've been paying more attention to attack multipliers and crap, and that's gonna hurt. Um, maybe I should start paying attention to that, but I mean, I'm doing fine. But anyway, um, back to what I was saying before, because I lost my train of thought. Maybe I just haven't healed them in a while. I was gonna say, Golbez, your MP sucks. Oh, dragons! Freaking brilliant. 
Like no, you're going running. back to attacking for a while because you're like running out. Ah, crap, that hurt. We're gonna have to fix that. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. Don't kill him. Oh, but that cast up. Never mind. That is kind of shitty. Ow. Alright, you give him an explosion and you. You bring Fluttershy back to life here. Actually, I probably should just keep it her dead and let Edward suck up the, the experience. But, meh, whatever. I wanna see what that does. Oh, see, see, she's fine now. She's fine. I pumped her full of spirit equipment, so she's fine. She's fine. I know she has low MP, uh, HP, sorry. Ah, you jerk. Oh, fine. I'm not reviving you this time. Sorry. Um, actually, do I still get EXP if people are stopped? Hopefully I do. So it would be really kind of crappy if not. But, um, I've thought about, because I know I have to bring her into the party at one point. Put my phoenix down. Um, I've considered using Rosa. I've considered it. Even though she takes a crap ton of uh, experience to level, but, but she does even out, uh, eventually. But, um, so I know people in the past are like, oh, bring Porum, bring Porum, bring Porum. Well, it's true that Porum does have a little bit higher MP, uh, you jerk offs, and uh, a little bit higher spirit than Rosa. Um, you can circumvent a lot of that with, um, obviously, equipment. And obviously, eventually, if, uh, you know, assuming you have enough um, stat boosting equipment, eventually it's not even going to even gonna matter because your stats aren't going to go higher than 99. Um, but besides that, and it's not even that much, Rosa is superior to Porum in every other way. She's faster, she has more, a lot more HP, so, uh, yeah. And considering if you have Edward, well, you don't really even need a white mage that much, and I'm getting to the point where I really don't. And even when I do use her, I mean, she's keeping up fine. Like, assuming I don't, you know, because I'm abusing the crap out of auto battle here. You know, assuming someone doesn't get, like, ambushed, um, like, in a single fight, I'm staying, like, fully healed. So, I mean, she's doing fine and everything like that. But, I mean, if you, if you freaking have Edward, then it's like, what's the even point of a goddamn white mage in the first place? That's yeah, probably gonna do crap damage, but I don't care. Because her interlock sucks. Get that out of my inventory. Okay, which way was I going? Okay, one thing I'm gonna do... Um... Is that? See, no, I need to go in that other cave first. I forgot where I was going! <laughs> for magic all that much, so. Just notice their name is Lucifer. Oh, nice job, Ed. You are the man. Oh, I see another secret passage over here. I see it there. Dragon Helm, not bad. But I can't really have people using this stuff. Sure, let's rest. Free healing for the win! Yeah, that was really lame. I don't care right now. I had a long day at work. I just stayed late again. Hey, buddy. Why don't you have the safe point on fire? And that's kind of not how you play a harp, by the way, but we're just going to let that one go. For the love of crap, please let something happen. I've been expositing this for half the game. Let something happen here. Oh, that's sweet. G 
Yeah, Edward, you're a bard. That's th 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 that's kind of what you do. Edward, you were just playing the frigging thing. What is wrong with you? You know, you were doing great. I mean, yeah, you had a pretty depressive episode when we first saw you, but, I mean, you've done great since then. What's wrong, man? What's happening to you? Actually, isn't that, like, the best time? Because, you know, when you're filled with all that sorrow and angst or whatever, that, that brings out your creativity. That's how it pretty much works for everybody else. But, hey, you know, he's Edward. Yeah, you know, kind of moon crushing into the planet thing. I mean, yeah, I guess plus I can understand why he's so angsty right now. What about if she's a woman, huh? <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> well, at least you're admitting it. That's the first step, Edward. That's the first step. Come on. Come on. You can do it, man. Listen to Tella. Wise words. Come on. Oh, for Christ's sake, will you turn around and... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, turn around and look at the damn girl while she's talking to you, but whatever. Oh, well, that is sweet. Come on, Edward. Man up. Come on. Man up. The woman is practically asking you to serenade her. And, you know, considering where we are, even though it's kind of tragic, you you have the opportunity here to take the whole moonlit serenade thing to an entirely new level, never before ever seen, seen before, and probably know will never happen again, and you're blowing it. Horribly. Yeah, see, even she's telling you you kick some ass, man. That's sad. Yeah, you, one, one thing I actually did notice before, that even though, obviously, it's mentioned that, you know, obviously, Edward's parents both died, uh, were, you know, were kind of killed when the Red Wings, you know, kind of bombed the crap out of his castle, it's never mentioned again. Ever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I lost my parents. <laughs> End of discussion, game over. It's always about his woman. <laughs> Come on, Edward. Man up. Do something. <laughs> Do something. Come on. <laughs> that is very true. Come on. That's it. That's it! No! no you, you can't end the scene there! No! 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 You, you just can't do that! Game, you can't troll me like that! No! How does that happen? Jesus Christ! I feel so bad for the poor girl. I mean, can you imagine how embarrassing that awkward that might have been, probably was? Especially since now everyone at home, while well, she freaking sort of panics a lot, pretty much just outed her to freaking everybody. And now she's trying to be all nice about it to him, and you know, whatnot, and why do I get into a random battle one step away from the damn crystal? Fine. Fine game. Well, at least I kill everything fine. Hooray! And he gains a level! Hooray! Ugh. Seriously, Edward? I'm sorry. Does anyone have some Prozac for the poor man or something like that? Because seriously, he is like way too depressed and he shouldn't be. I I'm sorry. He, he definitely needs something here. Like, come on. Sorry, my cord is getting caught on my feet. So if you hear me... Moving that around, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're definitely still, like, not with it here because that was a really lame line, Edward. I'm sorry. 
What is wrong with you? You just lost some awesome points for that. Because you failed to rise to the occasion. And I mean that in more ways than one. I don't care if mine is in the gutter. Permanently takes up residence there anyway. You know, I probably should change the moon phase. Because obviously I knew this chick was coming. But then again, I'm kind of a dummy. Um, did you have to go after her? Apparently he did. Yeah, I was hoping for a lucky haste march, but apparently that didn't happen. Oh, no, now I gotta really pay attention because obviously I should probably change my party because I forgot I moved people around and like swap rows and stuff. So I thought Kane was Fluttershy there because I saw the blue, but apparently I'm an idiot. Because I'm more paying attention to, you know, the bottom of the screen here, you know, with the portrait to tell me whose turn has just come up. Um, what do I want to do? I'm just gonna try to set you on fire. It's probably not gonna do, like, any damage, but <laughs> I gotta have her do something. Okay, that, that's better than the crappy healing, but uh, I prefer the other one. You know, the one that begins with an H. But that's okay. Oh my god, that actually did something! Wow! I'm actually impressed, Fluttershy! Now come on, Edward, you know. Thank you! You know, this is... This is, this is Granted, she's kind of a monster and all that, but, you know... Nah, I probably shouldn't have done that. You know, hot sexy babe right in front of you, you know. That should give you a hint. Ha 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 you missed. Ow. You know, I probably shouldn't be, like, spamming attacks here while, you know... I'm, I'm waiting for Kane to get his butt off the ground, but... <laughs> probably not. <laughs> But I mean, I'm otherwise doing okay here. I mean, considering how, e e you know, absolutely a pushover this fight was when I played the original game. Uh, you know. Okay, don't tell me you've turned into Rydia and have an IQ to match your bus size. What the hell, woman? Yup! Yeah. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to skip that dialogue. Didn't know it was happening. Sorry. But yeah, if she wanted to die, we were happy. we were glad to do it for her. <laughs> Hooray! And Rapunzel Barbie has now gone to the plastic graveyard. Awesome. To replace, be replaced by a new generation. Yes, Edge. We know you're itching for this. We will get there eventually. Don't you worry. Oh, oh alright. So she was semi-hot in that bikini, but can you know, considering she had these, these nasty claws and hair that... Yeah, I can't think of anything terrible, terrible to say there. That's that I'm not gonna have to explain away. Oh God, Edward! Please tell me you have a boner from that. Pretty much, probably every man in the party has a boner right now. Probably, I would hope so. You know, given that scantily clothed body and all. Ooh, I will take that and run with it. All right, all right. Um. And I'm going to... I'm going to use a cottage. Why? Because I can. But what the hell was... I... Oh yeah, um... Long hair. I was going to make a comment about that, but... What I had on my mind was just going to take too long to explain. Um, I have long hair. Uh, for those of you guys who have... Oh, I need to start back up here. Those are my, like, 
screwing around files. Um. Yeah, I'm starting there. Okay. And, uh, I really don't ever cut my hair until I need to. Uh, for reference, my hair, when it is down, is down to almost my hips. And let me tell you, when your hair starts getting that long, it starts to get you in a bit of trouble. Uh, my hair is not quite that long yet, so like like every like year or so, I have to like hack like eight inches off of it because it's getting too long. And it gets to be annoying. It starts getting uh, obviously, um, it's exposed to the elements and stuff more. So um, obviously, you're a little bit more prone to dead ends on that front because I mean the hair by that point is old. Because for those of you who, who don't know, whoops, as I pull my cord accidentally my foot again, um, the living part of your hair is beneath your scalp. What you see of your hair is dead. Completely dead. And while, you know, you can use, you know, care care products to um, keep it from overly drying out and thus be prone to split ends, like, like once your hair is split, that can't be healed. Like, anything... Um, that says, oh, can fix split ends, it's kind of just like a temporary glue. It will not permanently fix it because it's not living material. It's like your fingernails, too. Um, the living part is, you know, underneath your skin and all that. Um, but anyway, it starts to get caught on things. Um, like your pants. Uh, you can get caught in the seat of your pants. If it gets too long, um, if you're a girl, you kind of have to brush it out of the way because to put it bluntly, um... Yeah, you don't want to do your business in the restroom on it, and that can kind of become a problem. So you have to learn to uh, either lean forward or move it out of the way, so you don't, you know, accidentally... To put it bluntly here... Yeah. You don't want to accidentally mess your hair with what is not supposed to go on hair, but only supposed to go in John. I know that's kind of slightly disgusting, but it is, you know, a fact of life, and it is something people with extremely long hair do have to deal with. I mean, for guys it might be a little bit easier, because you'd only sit down on the toilet less than half the time that women do. But, yeah, it, it can get kind of annoying. Let's go over here first. So, yeah, long hair can be uh, slightly dangerous. Like the interesting setup they have here. The triangle and her in the center. It's kind of interesting, kind of cool. But yeah, I've had long hair for a long time, and like I said, usually the only thing that gets me to hack it off is when it's getting too long and starting to become an actual problem. Then I'll hack about eight inches off of it or so. Like, believe me. I When I hack it off, I hack it off, and then I just kind of leave it there and mother rinse repeat. I don't really know why. I mean, I've just always had long hair growing up. Like, ever since I was like five years old, like, I've always grown my hair long. I mean, it didn't used to get this long until I um, started getting older and my mom stopped trimming it on a regular basis. Like, I barely go to a hairdresser. It used to be my before I moved out, my mother would trim my hair when it was getting too long. So I've, I've never, I haven't actually, uh, even though I've gone to a salon to get my hair uh, hacked off a couple inches here, here and there. I've never, like, gotten my hair, like, done at a salon since I was, like, 12. Like, I don't do, like, any styling or anything like that. Like, I just do, like, a wash and hack, like, eight inches off of it, and that's about it. And it's getting close to that time where I need to cut it off, so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm not even really sure why I keep it so long. I mean, I think... Because even for work, I just put it up in a regular ponytail, and I don't really do anything special with it otherwise. But, I mean, when I do cut it off, um, because obviously I hack a bunch of it off, the the weight definitely does feel different. Like, you don't know, you have no idea how heavy... Well, that'd be good for when I put Ursula back in the party, which I have no idea is when it's going to be. Uh, what the hell was I just saying? Um, yeah, but your hair does weigh a bunch, so if you cut all off, all, all, off a lot, um, you will notice it. <laughs> Uh, let's go up first.
And I think I just like the idea of potentially doing something with it because I'd rather, because my, uh, an old friend of mine, who I actually coincidentally ran into at work a couple days ago, uh, you know, I was friends with her as a kid. She liked her hair kind of short. Now, not in, like short, short, like boy short, but, um, like chin, like shoulder, like short. Wait, what floor am I on? Oh, this is back on nine. Oh, this is how it. This is how. Oh, that's the way I came. Did I ever get that chest that I saw like hanging below? I don't know if I did. Just to go, how much I'm paying attention when I just completely forget where the hell I am. But that I suppose is really not that much new because I've done that before. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I think I just like the idea of, of being able to do something with my hair. Because I know as... What the hell did... Did he just blow himself up? Ah, oh, crap. You freaking killed Edward, you bastard. Because uh, I know she was in dance. My friend, that is. Um, growing up. And she liked her hair short. And like one point her mother once made was, Well, well you don't want to cut it too short because... I need to raise it first. Um, you have to be able to put your hair up for dance. And I need to go back to where the hell... Did I ever get that, that chest I, I, I pointed out at one point that I need to make sure I get? Maybe I already did. Actually, since this episode is getting a little bit long, I'm just going to go to the safe point. I mean, there's probably one on that floor, but it's probably uh, a bit ahead of where I am. So, now I don't want to spend like another half an hour. <laughs> this episode, this, this half an hour went back faster than I thought, really. If I was smart, I would swap my rows, because I'm more paying attention to my timer over here than I am to the actual footage on the screen. And I haven't even talked anything about the game in the past five minutes anyway, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of always stuck by me that, you know, I just, I want to be able to do something with my hair. So, when the occasion rises, I can. And actually, um, I did do something with it a couple years ago. I actually dyed a huge chunk of it bright pink. Oh my god. I mean, I know at one video I kind of showed a picture, but that did not do... That picture was in bad lighting and did not do the pinkness. Like, I had, like... Huh, eh, like, I wouldn't want to say highlighter pink because that's too light, but, like, it was, like, bright magenta. And depending on how I wore my hair, it was either, like, on a... Because I wore it in a side part, it was, like, just that one side part. Or if I wore it up in a ponytail, it was, like, a skunk stripe. So no matter how I wore my hair, it looked awesome. And it was, like, like this... Deep magenta. Oh, it was beautiful. And I still have uh, bits of it in the, in the tips of my hair, too. Because, obviously, I had to bleach my hair to get it in there. And I still have the tips of that in my hair. Because it has not been cut off yet. <laughs> and I never dyed over it. <laughs> to back to my original color or anything like that. So, And I've been kind of interested in, in doing that again. I don't know. I'm getting way off track here. Oh, my God. Do the Rapunzel Barbie, you made me spend the five minutes talking about hair. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. So, next episode, I think we know what's coming, and I'm very happy for that, and I'm sure Edge will be happy with that, and I don't know how the hell I got my cords tangled so much. No wonder everything was caught. My PSP cord is the one caught with my, um, with my headphones. It wasn't my foot the whole time, although that partially was it. But anyway, um, really excited for next episode because I given the amount that Edge won't shut up about it I'm guessing there's going to be some fancy smancy dialogue banter whatever in our next boss fight which I'm really looking forward to seeing please game don't screw it up please and thank you all for watching and I will see you then <laughs>